Hello everyone and welcome to Pepito Live. Today we are very privileged to present you with a very exclusive interview in English. We will be talking with Dr. Oscar Chavez, renowned tropical biologist currently working at the University of Costa Rica. Dr. Chavez is a primate specialist studying a phenomenon that is increasingly getting more and more attention here in Costa Rica. That is the discoloration of certain howler monkeys throughout the country. Also, we can observe increased orange pigmentation in the animal. There are a few theories as to why this may be happening. And Dr. Chavez is devoting a research project to understand the causes linked to this new phenomenon. Let's welcome him to Pepito Live. Welcome, Dr. Oscar Chavez. Please, to start the show, could you give us a little presentation of who you are? Okay. I am a tropical biologist. Uh, I am a specialist in primate conservation, um, behavioral ecology of primates, particularly in uh, anthropogenic uh, landscape like most of the landscape of Costa Rica and Latin America. During the last uh, 15 years, I have studied uh, tropical, neotropical primates in Mexico, Costa Rica, um, Brazil particularly. Um, uh, after uh, this time, I have come back to Costa Rica uh, to study uh, uh, Aluata paliata paliata, the 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 mantled howler monkey of Costa Rica. Uh, my particular interest here is study the this phenomenon, uh, named uh, abnorm abnormal uh, pigmentation uh, of the hair and skin of of this uh, endangered primate. Alvata Pariata. Um, uh, currently, I, I am uh, perform a, a, a two years uh, investigation with with Alvata Pariata to uh, determine, determine the the, pro, the probable causes and consequence of this phenomenon. When did we start observing that there were some changes in the coloration or the pigmentation of the howler monkey? Okay, this is a, a great question. Uh, when it's difficult to know the exactly date because uh, approximately three the last uh, 30 years, uh, uh, some sporadic records about the phenomenon have been reported by different collaborators. The phenomenon of partial, partial pigmentation or partial anomalous pigmentation is relatively uh, frequent uh, in some uh, wild tropes. Howler monkeys, but uh, my collaborators uh, uh, in something uh, some years ago believed that this uh, disorders was a natural uh, pattern, color pattern. But now we have we have seen that the frequency and the phenotypes. Uh, Phenotypes of these colors. Of, of, this is the the different patterns of colors are more diverse now, and we can found uh, this uh, anomalous uh, phenoty phenotype more commonly than than ten years ago, for example, or, or twenty years ago. So, yeah. Dr. Chavez, what? Uh, do we believe would be the causes leading to this disorder? Okay. In this primate project, uh, we we are uh, testing two main hypotheses. Uh, 
the, the first hypothesis is a potential influence or affectation by pesticides because most of the records, the records we have on the on this phenomenon occurs in in forest fragments very very close from uh, uh, agriculture plantations, particularly extensive uh, plantations like melon, like uh, palma sicana, banana, uh, pineapple, uh, etc. Uh, so uh, we have, uh, we suspect that maybe a probably link between the use of pesticides. I don't, we not, we don't know what specific pesticide because we, in this moment, we are studying this this point. Uh, we are investigating what 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 are the the possible uh, pesticide involved in the uh, anomalous pigmentation, but uh, there are an, an, spa, an a special a spatial association between this phenomenon, the location of the affected monkey troops, troops and the uh, and the location of the dead plantations. And as you know, Costa Rica is the second uh, country of Mesoamerica with higher use of pesticides. The, the situation is not good in this sense. The uh, ag ag agriculture practice here use a lot of pesticides, uh, a lot of, of pesticides in, in fruits, in, in, in potato, in tomatoes, in, in everything. And, and some of these pesticides are deposited in the in the flowers and fruit and leaves that howler monkeys eat, and then when they has this uh, polluted uh, food eating, they inhale the pesticides. And this pesticide, particularly those pesticides uh, with higher content of of a sulfur. <laughs> uh, uh, this produce a bio biochemical reaction with uh, with tyrosina, tyrosine that is a, a amino acid that is involved in in the melanogenesis process, and uh, the the pesticide the sulfur uh, favorizes the of, of favor the production of pheomelanin. Pheomelanin is a second type of melanin. You, the melanin is the pigment that produces the austere color of the skin, of the skin and the hair. The hair, uh, and the other kind of of pigment associated with the coloration in mammals is the pheomelanin. Is pheomelanin is a yellow, yellow or reddish uh, pigment that we have that we can observe in, in some animals, uh, including uh, the the howler monkeys with anomalous pigmentation. Uh, uh, and uh, as uh, as you can see in our in our online uh, photos uh, database, there are a lot of different uh, types of coloration. No. So, is there also another hypothesis? Yeah, the other hypothesis is the mutation, a genetic mutation, uh, in particularly in the genes that determine the, the pigmentation in mammals, uh, particularly two, two specific uh, genes that we are working, uh, we are working in laboratory uh, right now, uh, investigate, investigating if uh, if these genes are 
have uh, some alteration in the in the genomic sequence. Um, for now, we are working with uh, fecal samples, but uh, in the next month, we will collect uh, blood samples and hair samples to analyze, analyze in the lab also. So Dr. Chavez, is there an area of Costa Rica where we could observe more monkeys affected by this phenomena? Mm, well, until now, I have no a clear response for you, but uh, probably uh, Guanacaste, uh, do you know Guanacaste? Guanacaste is northern Costa Rica because there are a lot of uh, unsustainable uh, agricultural practices and a lot of forest fermentation, uh, a lot of uh, cows, uh, pastures, uh, etc. And monkeys are so so stressed, particularly uh, because the disorder, uh, uh, touristic development, uh, the continuous growing in the development of, of, of touristic activities and buildings, uh, etc. Uh, um, this this affect this affect uh, uh, strongly the the health of the of the wild populations of howler monkeys and many other uh, wild animals. Other hot spots of anomalous pigmentation uh, in, in the country is uh, Peninsula de Osa, probably, uh, the southern or, of Costa Rica. There are a lot of reports uh, in, in this region. But for now, the project is focused in Guanacaste, particularly Tamarindo, so in Santa Cruz, because we have no sufficient resource, financial resource, to include our, all areas or, or other areas of the country. Now, can this phenomena can also be observed in other countries, for example, in Central America, or it is purely Costa Rican? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, other interesting question. Yes. Uh, the the phenomenon is not is not restricted to Costa Rica, uh, as we believed in some years ago. Uh, now we know that this occurred in Mexico, uh, southern Mexico, uh, Nicaragua, uh, Panama, even in southern Brazil. Another question now: Are there other species of? monkeys, primates, or even animals in Costa Rica or Central America that may be affected by this disorder also? Our study a, a focal group in, in, in this study are primates, or it's primates. But there are also uh, some reports for took for tucans, uh, for, for vulture, uh, and, and other and other birds, including including some terrestrial mammals like coyote, like uh, pisote, mm -hmm. and, and other uh, terrestrial mammals. The phenomenon that we are studying is different. The the chromatic disorder that we are studying studying is different because. Uh, the animals have uh, pigmentation, but a different pigmentation. No black pigmentation, no, nor no, no grudges, nor white, but a yellow pigmentation. Even in the tropical primates, the, the report of uh, anomalous pigmentation, all of them, all published reports, are focused only in one gen genera in Alwata, in howler monkeys. We don't know why. If I understand, Dr. Chavez, it's it's a bit early now to draw any conclusions. 
and to ask the government to intervene or the Menai or no. what can be done for the future, we don't really know yet, right? No, no not yet because the project is currently uh, is working. We are analyzing the, the samples, we are studying the four, studying approximately four, uh, for wall or, or, for, or for free ranking tro troops or howler monkeys with cementation, with anomalous cementation and with normal cementation. Um, we, we estimate that approximately by December of this year, we, have, we can have some important results. For now, we are collecting the information. We cannot make some affirmation or some conclusion. There are a lot of work uh, in laboratory, in field, and the and the the reactives we use are very expensive. Uh, you know, this this have uh, delayed the, the project, and, and we are working with NIOS, like like we say, but. Uh, we believe uh, that by December of this year, we we can have some results. Now, in concluding this discussion, is there anything, for example, people like me or the general public, people watching this interview, could do to help you? For example, if we are out and about in Costa Rica and we do observe some animals that we feel may be affected by that, is there anything we could do, for example, to report the location about these sightings and, and how should we do that? Maybe report that to you or to Minai or what can we do to help? No, no you know, Minai, you know, Minai have no uh, capacity to, to take the report and visitants or different regions of the country that collaborate in us. Uh, sending the image, the, the pics of, of this of these animals, uh, and you can and they can send the, the image to my email, or and we can we sometimes uh, make some small discussion about the the phenomenon they they have seen um, and test image or or pics we. Uh, Upload to the Flickr database of the project that is a public database, and all records that that people send us uh, uh, have the respective credit in the imaging imaging uh, metadata, metadata, and then people can help us uh, send this image. But we need the location, the exact location. Now most cameras, cameras have the coordinate, no? The, mm -hmm. See? the latitude, longitude, yep. or you can take the coordinates with the cellular, or, you know, and send us the coordinate to make a, a map, a map. Uh, about the distribution of, of this anomalous uh, uh, coloration report. Um, uh, also, uh, we, we are looking for potential uh, collaborators. Uh, particularly, uh, we are looking for some financial resource because uh, we, we, we have uh, we have very problems to make the some of the chemical analysis that we need to uh, perform. If people can uh, help in, in this, uh, uh, it, it will be great for the, for the project. Perfecto. Dr. Oscar Chavez, gracias para participar a esta entrevista. Gracias. Gracias a ustedes, eh, Pepito. Muy amable. Hasta luego. Thank you.